Hey guys, we're back for number three in the Friday the 13th film franchise, and this is the best one. It's also in 3D! It's also in 3D! Basically the story of do it the same story three times over, eventually, hopefully, the third time is going to be a decent. It's good. I, I really like this movie. Um, this is one of my favorites in the series. And Jason finally gets his mask. We finally yes. get the like possibly the most iconic thing in horror film history uh, in the Jason mask. And what's so funny about it is it was so dismissive of when they did it. I didn't even <laughs> notice when he put the mask on. I was like, wait, he's got the mask? Oh yeah. He takes it off I was and, like, and the hand just grabs it. And, and I was like, oh wow, okay. <laughs> That's usually how it is sometimes with the origins uh, of certain no, I'm, ideas. I'm not even sure they ever they thought of it as anything. Um, they basically they didn't want to do the bag head again, uh, partially I assume because they didn't want to rip off Town of the Dreaded Sundown again. And Elephant Man, David Lynch, also wore a bag. Like a bag yeah. on the head's like a super common thing, so they wanted their own thing. Yeah. And uh, you know, and they third the, time the they William got Shatner it. mask was already taken by Mike Myers. Mm -hmm. So this one is apparently a day after the second one. Well, so I guess it starts a day after. Oh, it starts a day and after. And then they get, the couple gets killed and the day after that. So it's yeah. Sunday the 15th. And somehow in all that time, Jason has recovered from a incredibly deep incision of a fucking machete in his shoulder and he's going around killing teenagers again. He'll, he's got he has quick healing abilities. As for characters, again, they're completely really non-existent. They oh, are they, literally meat shields. But Some of the girls actually we confused. Yes, yeah, because they look so similar, but there are some elements uh, to certain characters, like for instance Chubby Garfunkel. Chubby Garfunkel he's good. funny because he's actually, he keeps on pretending to be killed, because he's like, no, I can't, I, I can only be a jerk, otherwise I'm nothing else. And then when he actually dies, it's a really yeah, funny a case of uh, Boy Who Cries Wolf. And then there's the main girl who lives through it, and she's actually pretty awesome. She's a oh, badass yeah, we, in this yeah, movie. She's, she's a fucking rock Got star. some vibes of like, you're, you're next. How she does the smart, she does a bunch of smart things. She yeah. like stabs him and she then like attacks takes him. She fucking takes him on. Like going, she fights him. Yeah. And she hangs that motherfucker. Yeah. It's great. We were like, hang him, hang him, hang him, hang him. No, she, you are cheering through for her throughout yeah. this movie. Despite the fact that I regularly say this series, you're supposed to cheer for Jason. Yeah. Uh, you want him to kill people. And it really, it, it becomes that. But Oh, especially when he grabbed the poker. It's like, oh, yeah. Yeah, and <laughs> you, you do get a lot of cheering for Jason. But I like that the way this movie ends, like you're cheering for this girl. Like, yeah, you no. want you're excited when she's kicking the shit out of Jason. Yeah, she's and, a real uh, driving force, and she can. She's got the survival element. She, yeah, when she hanged the guy, I was like, are she actually gonna do it? He like, totally thought he was gonna stop her, but no, she full on hangs that motherfucker. I mean, it's Steve Miner uh, who got better as a director mm -hmm. in two in a year. I mean, I know they had more money. It's, it's much better it's, it's for better. production. It's, yeah, the production's better. You can tell he's a more competent guy making this the film. The pacing is much better. <laughs> I actually did not the get bored. I, the beginning's a little boring. Well, the uh, beginning's a little boring. They drag out the old couple at well, the grocery store not, farm well, thing. Well, yeah, but also Just, the first five minutes is literally oh, we didn't even ending. make fun of that we should, definitely should have made fun of the fact that once again like after the second one it is previously on Friday but it's the 13th not, it's not a bunch of like current day then memories yeah, it's not like a dream it's shot like, it's, it's just literally, literally just, the end of the movie it's but the, not the all the way end they like no. they add a scene after he die like gets apparently the machete, he, just, the he pulls the machete out which i guess is theoretically before he goes back and dives through the window at her with hair I, I, and for some oh he also shaved his head in this movie apparently yeah he's got hair in the second one yeah he, he just all had all this time one. to do all this stuff <laughs> on the side we have a giant hole in his shoulder uh, yeah. It was funny too is because of the obvious 3D element. <laughs> it's not shot in th it was shot yeah. for 3D. There's no 3D glasses so we didn't get yeah, ourselves we, we, a migraine. Unfortunately, we don't have yeah. However, we didn't damage our vision tonight. Because of how much there was, it just made it really funny. <laughs> and at the end, when we were like there's just like they were going, "Whoa, fucking 3D!" <laughs> Because there's so much, like at one point, there's fucking popcorn popping at you. <laughs> the popcorn. Um, or and I, all the well, stabs. They, they got the, I, I, even the very first one where the old guy grabs the broom and he's like, just for no reason at all, like leans it towards. <laughs> like he looks like he's aiming, like make sure don't hit the lens, don't hit the lens. Uh, it's, yeah. But it's, it's. Oh, I mean, the eyeball, the eyeball. Yeah. Oh, well, we got to talk about the deaths. I mean, that death, uh, Rick, I think his name, like just getting the head crushed and just like. 
pops that out. That was like, great. It's great. And it's got like, I love the, they do have the guy that for whatever reason likes to walk on his, on his hands, hands. And he and gets do the shot up, up through the glass and just right down. Yeah, that was a great wow. one. The gore is better, the kills are better. The, I like the, the first kill with the Jason mask where he just walks up, points just the <laughs> thing, shoots her through the eye, Mike drops it and walks away again. Yeah, just like, I yeah, just like, rolls. what did I say? It was like, that's a very casual yeah. walk for a serial <laughs> killer. <laughs> just like turns, yeah, did that. All right, moving on to the next one. So but yeah, there's some good deaths in it. There's a lot of fun. Uh, there's some like the gang stuff, uh, which I was making jokes. Oh, yeah, that they shattered some, these they shattered the black windshield black of the bug. Panthers. You, you got to find a screenshot of it. That it, the shattered screenshot kind of looks like someone tried to make a Wu Tang logo. <laughs> so once they like oh. hit the bike the second time, it runs over we're like Wu Tang Clan ain't nothing, nothing to fuck, fuck with. with. That's what the Herbie got. Yeah, that's Herbie the <laughs> Herbie the Love Bug got some Wu Tang gangsta in this movie. It's <laughs> still really stupid in some ways. Yeah. And there's some the characters again you don't care for, but overall this is a much more yeah. enjoyable and, film. And you don't care even as much as we like the main girl, you don't give a shit about her. Through the whole, one of the girls is pregnant. What the fuck happened with that? Yeah, well, I don't even remember that. Yeah, <laughs> they, no, they, they like talk about it in the beginning, and they just like it means nothing. Oh, and there's that random she memory. Smoke she, weed. she has that random memory about <laughs> seeing Jason earlier too, which yeah. is like what, what, what was that? What did that have to do with anything other than the fact that when he pulls the rope over, she sees his face and she's like, oh, it was you! None of the characters mean anything. Although, like, even the main girl who we end up caring about because she's a badass, but like... You only care because she just doesn't die. And yeah, like, and she, she kicks some ass. Cookie cutter, fucking nothing, dead teenagers. There's a lot of fake outs, too. There's times yeah. where you think that there's like, oh, they're gonna kill her. No, you didn't. And they're like, eh, yeah, ducks. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, even though, like, even like right off the bat, like the first time before you know Shelly's oh, what Shelly does, buddy. He, well, no, not the money, but the, well, yeah. But I was saying the first time Shelly, when you think, oh. like, when he does his first scare, like, you don't know he's fucking around yet, and yeah, I like it. Right? It's, it's yeah. cool. Like, they have fun with it. There's a, they, they're bringing humor into it. It's got a lot of jokes, and we got a 12 deaths in this one, which is the most so far in the series. It's definitely an enjoyable film. It, we were laughing. We were like, yeah, we had a lot of <laughs> cool, fun moments with this film, and I'll definitely say I didn't feel tired at all throughout this. <laughs> so my body trying to fall asleep through these movies was working in my favor. Yeah, it was. It, this one, I mean, it's the it's the best one so yeah, far. It's the best one for a bit. You'll see. Oh crap! I mean, we get we get we get we get the Corey next. But this movie's a ton of fun. Uh, I'm gonna throw my rating up first. Uh, I'm gonna give it a five because I really like this movie. It's still not good, but <laughs> it's. It's fun and it's like the hand, the guy on the handstand is probably one of my favorite. That is a great series. Yeah. Um, it's not my favorite, but it's it's up there because it's really cool. And the the prosthetic after that you see, yeah, his when body she looks like up before whoa. she gets the knife through and he's all like cut in half and mm -hmm. shit. Like that's that's really cool. And there's just some fun moments. And uh, I I like the the shots they do, like when she gets the door open and. You and your roommate were like, oh, he's going to, I don't want that, I don't want that, and he's just still hanging there dead for a moment. Like, it was a good, it's yeah, a good Yeah, right? There's a lot of those They build up, that, literally good build up. They do it well. I think it's a very successful mm -hmm. horror film. Your roommate jumped in one moment. Yeah, she did. I will give it a four. I'll say it is a good movie. It is an enjoyable time. It does have some stupidity to it. But the thing is, I don't know if I'll be able to ever rewatch it again with the same in vigor. If I had watched that by myself, I would have been bored. But because we had that group in oh, environment, that's the best way to watch horror. Oh, exactly. So, guys, that's our review for the third Friday the Thirteenth movie. Now we'll be moving on to number four. Four. Does, does it have a name? I think it's got a name. I don't remember what it is. The Feldmaner. <laughs> Very interested to see Corey Feldman in these movies. Yeah. Pre-Lost Boys or post-Lost Boys? I believe pre. It's oh. pre-Goonies, so it's gotta be, yeah, it's gotta be pre-Lost Boys. Oh, wow. Pre-Goonies. Wow. Yeah, he, the reason he doesn't do the fifth, the full one of the fifth one is because he was filming Goonies. He actually, like, left on weekends to go film the fifth one. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah. Shoot. Well, all right, then. We got that to look forward to. Hey. Uh, to reference my uh, my trailer, it's the, the height of his Feldman power. <laughs> <laughs> Mark and Steve, go check it out. <laughs> I think this is going to be the shortest review we've ever done. It might be, yeah. It might be. Anyways, so, guys. I'm just going to throw another plug. Creepy Corridor Pictures, Mark and Steve Trailers. Let's make this movie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.